so guys solana just got rejected at around 26 dollars because this is basically a very important key resistance level right now and this is what i want to talk about because the big question is if solana is able to break above this huge area of resistance and if we are able to go higher all the way up to about 30 or 35 dollars this is what i want to talk about if you want to see the best ta on crypto for bitcoin for any other type of altcoins guys make sure to subscribe make sure to drop a like let's try to reach 250 likes in today's video if you want to see some more solana updates if you want to see daily solana updates let me know down below in the comments guys and with that being said let's not waste too much time and jump straight in today's video by the way guys if you want to get up to thirty thousand dollars on bybit and eight thousand dollar in deposit bonuses on bitget this is nowhere else available on youtube guys only with my link down below in the description check out bitget like i said first link down below in the description eight thousand dollar in deposit bonus and you will save some trading fees while you are trading solana or bitcoin or any type of altcoins guys you will save 15 percent of your money with my link down below in the description and on bybit you will get up to thirty thousand dollars guys all right if you need vpn for trading i have also linked down below in the description where you will get 73 percent lifetime discount all right anyway let's talk about the price targets guys and let's talk about solana real quick so first of all solana had obviously a huge run up run up right of approximately 200 percent already 200 percent guys since this stuff with, with ftx happened basically right so solana was uh, is down was down a lot at around eight dollars and what happened right here is actually quite simple just people just took adva advantage of that people just took this opportunity and they just bought a lot of solana right here between um eight dollars to about ten dollars right they bought just a lot of solana right here and they just took advantage of that because it was basically just oversold right this area was definitely oversold we could also see it obviously on some different indicators like for example the daily time frame as you can see this was a perfect buy signal by the way um, on the daily time frame right here i think my indicator was also giving a potential buy signal usually it should give a potential buy signal right here around no right here this was where my indicator was giving you a buy signal around 12 dollars guys right yes if you want to use my indicator by the way guys completely for free like i said you have just to create a new account on bitget make your first trade and then send me a dm on telegram and i will give you access to my uh buy and sell indicator guys anyway then we could see on the daily time on the daily rsi that solana was definitely oversold around 23 24 followed with a huge rally guys right and right now the rs the rsi is on the other hand again um overbought right and you can see already that we have a potential divergence right now on the rsi because we just had this previous high around 24 dollars with followed with another um higher high at around 26 dollars but on the other hand on the rsi we have this high around 87 and a, an, another lower high at around 74 so this is definitely a di divergence right now that we see on the rsi and like i said after we had already a 200 percent rally we can definitely expect a potential pullback on the on the uh, on solana guys all right so um first of all let's talk about two different scenarios so we need to see so to, to see a potential continuation set up right to follow this trend that we are following right now we need to break obviously above 26 dollars at the moment right why do we need to break above 26 dollars guys look at this look at this um accumulation zone right over here this is the area where solana was trading right between 26 to about 47 48 dollars for approximately let's see how long for about 170 days and look how much volume is right here so how many people bought solana in this range between 26 to about 48 dollars so you have to understand a lot of those people right here who bought solana in this dip in this range are currently selling their positions to these people right here right because they want to get out of their position for a small loss probably and they want to get out and sell their positions to all those people who are currently buying this breakout right so with that being said we need to break in my opinion above 26 dollars this would be the most important thing right now we need to break above 26 dollars and then we could actually go all the way up again to about 40 dollars or so this would be in my opinion the next potential bullish target on solana if we are breaking 26 dollars guys all right so once again 
I would actually look for daily close above $26 if this should happen. Guys, you have to understand that right now a lot of people are taking short positions, right? A lot of people are currently short on Solana right here on $26. And that basically means a lot of them are currently waiting um, until the price will see a pullback, right? Again, let's say to about $19, $18 or so. And they have their stop losses probably somewhere right here at around $28 or so. And that basically means um, if the price is breaking into these levels, right, we can definitely look for a potential short squeeze like we saw already over the last couple of days. And then the next potential price target is this is obviously this area of resistance right here that we already saw around $38, around $38, guys. And right here, as you can see also, this area was definitely a very important key area of support and key area of resistance. So once again, if this price of $26 is breaking, we are looking at the next potential price target of about $38 to about $39, guys. And now let's talk about the potential pullback on Solana, guys. I like to use the Fibonacci retracement level to identify some potential support areas. And for that, we need to get this low around eight dollars to this high around 26 dollars guys and as you can see if we are getting a potential pullback on solana this would basically mean a potential pullback maybe i would say so i would say the the, the first area of support that we have would be the 0.382 level all right this would be basically the first area of support that we have right now 0.382 level on the fibonacci retracement um levels guys this would be perfectly lined up around 19 to about 20 dollars right so with that being said if solana will see a potential pullback we are looking at our, our, our at our next potential support area of approximately 19 to 20 dollars all right otherwise if this support should break the 0.382 fibonacci retracement level then the next potential price target would be the 0.5 level all right the 0. it is actually not a Fibonacci level but I would say the 0. 0.5 would be the next area of support and then the next one would be the 0. 0.618 golden ratio level the most important one guys and as you can see also look at this guys how powerful the Fibonacci retracement level always is the 0. 0.618 golden ratio level is perfectly lined up with this previous area of resistance guys right from november 2022 and the big and middle of december guys right you can see that solana was already getting rejected a couple of times at this area of resistance and we can also see at the same time since we had a breakout at this resistance area we had some sideways consolidation followed with a huge breakout to about 25 dollars right so basically the last area of support for Solana would be a potential pullback of about 40% all the way down to about $15. But this is in my opinion, this is in my opinion only likely if this area of support is breaking guys. Let me show you. This is the area of support that I'm looking at right now around $22. All right. If this support is breaking, then we can definitely expect a potential pullback guys. And once again, like I already mentioned, we need to get a break above 26 dollars to get a potential continuation setup like that and to see a potential next price target of about 39 and 40 or 40 dollars and the big question right now is obviously how can we take advantage of that and how can we make some money of that guys quite simple let me explain real quick first of all guys like i already mentioned in the beginning of my video make sure to trade on bitget if you want to get up to eight thousand dollar in deposit bonuses and 15 percent of trading fees the sign up costs you only 20 seconds and like i said you will save some money some of your trading fee money and if you want if you want to try um try buy bit there is also a link down below in the description we will get up to thirty thousand dollars in deposit bonuses guys 30k anyway so um for some potential trade setups guys like i said let's let's say let's say bitcoin is breaking above this huge area of resistance around 26 dollars right let's say like that guys then we are obviously looking for a potential breakout trade and this could look something like that for example i would definitely go into a potential long trade around 27 dollars set my take profit target 
um, around like I already mentioned guys not financial advice but I would set my take profit target probably around I would say $39 stop loss somewhere around $24 or so and then I would just try to catch a quick breakout trade for example if you took a breakout trade right here right set your take profit on 26 dollars basically just at the next resistance level stop loss somewhere right here you would risk for example 100 to make four or 500 dollars right it could be actually that simple guys otherwise if solana is actually getting rejected at this level right if we are getting a potential fake out for example like that then I would basically set my take profit target for a potential short position maybe around I would say $15 stop loss somewhere right here around $28 or so and then I would basically try to catch a quick short position guys obviously in my opinion overall I would definitely not trade against the trend right now because the trend is definitely looking very strong as you can see guys we are still forming higher highs and also higher lows even if we are currently in some type of parabolic setup we can say also but overall i would definitely not go against the trend guys i would just trade with the trend right and especially if you are breaking above 26 dollars also we can definitely look for a continuation setup all the way up to about 40 dollars otherwise if this trend is breaking then of course i will keep you updated on my youtube channel guys and then we can look for some potential short positions please make sure to join the free telegram channel guys if you always want to be updated about my youtube videos about my content about my trades and everything you can just join my telegram channel guys like uh like always and uh like i like I already mentioned make sure to drop a like let's try to reach 250 likes guys if you want to source if you want to see some more videos about solana let me know down below in the comments if you want to see some more frequent update and with that being said stay safe don't get tricked and see you for another one guys peace